This is the last video on the playground design parts. Uh, in the previous one, we completed 10. Now in part 10, we're going to uh, complete the spiral slide. So if we can take a look at the spiral slide, we have lots of different things going on here. We have 132 inches in height. We have an opening that is 22 inches with a radius of 11 inches, and it all revolves around this eight inch open space. So we're gonna come over to Onshape. You can see I've already created my spiral slide part uh, document inside of the uh, folder. I'm gonna choose for this one the top plane to begin with. I'm gonna orientate myself. And what I can see according to that document is I have an eight inch radius opening in the middle, but that is uh, a diameter of 16 inches. So I'm gonna create that 16 inch circle. I can then close out my sketch. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is lay down another sketch on that front plane. I can then click on my front to orientate myself. I'm gonna grab my line tool and the, I'm gonna line that line tool even with the uh, X axis here on that origin point. And I'm gonna make a one inch line. Now that one inch line needs to be eight inches away from that zero, zero origin point. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my line tool again, even with that first one inch line, I'm gonna make another one inch line. Now the opening to my slide I can see on that orthographic drawing is 22 inches. So I'm gonna dimension these lines 22 inches apart. Next, I'm gonna to move to my arc tool. I'm gonna to select the outside lines of my one inch lines, and I'm gonna create a 12 inch radius arc. The inside lines are connected with an arc as well with a radius of 11 inches. So now I have that face of that part uh, constructed according to these specifications. So now that I've completed this sketch, I'm gonna exit sketch mode by clicking on the green check mark. I'm gonna come up here to the Helix tool. I'm gonna to click on the Helix tool and I'm gonna choose height and turns for our slide. I'm gonna choose the uh, circle of the inner opening. And I want the height of this to be 120 inches. And I know that you, uh, the total height that you're going to see is 132, but we have to do some subtracting of the inner arc here so we don't go longer than 132 on our spiral. We're going to change the uh, direction to downwards, and we are going to change the revolutions to three revolutions for our slide. I'm going to click my green check mark on my helix tool, and what you're going to notice is I now have that path for that. Uh, slide to travel down. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my sweep tool. I'm going to highlight the faces that I want. So we can see I've selected my faces here. The path of the sweep, which is here, I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose that spiral line that I've created. I can then hit my green check mark and we notice we have our spiral slide created according to our specifications. At this point, we have concluded all of our parts, congratulations, and we are now gonna move on to assembling them into our playground structures.